Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Evan and I'm here with my nephew Brandon. We are in the White Mountains of Arizona. We're camping, we're fishing, and now we're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Amic hammock versus the 90 degree hammock. Or we're gonna see which one we like better, so check it out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the Amok drummer and uh, show you guys how that works. The Amok uses these um, carabiners to connect the suspension to the trees. Right is red, left is green. All right, so now let's set up the 90 degree hammock. This is version 2.0. This is their um, ultralight version. The suspension that comes with the 90 degree hammock are uh, two Kevlar straps. They look to be about 10 feet long. So what I did is I added some Dutch hardware. It just makes it a little bit easier. If you don't wanna get the Dutch hardware, then all you do is you tie it in a knot um, to get this to, uh, to be suspended. So let's get this thing up. All right, so once your suspension straps um, are up on the tree, then you just connect this little guy right here, like that. The Amic Hammock. The Amic Hammock uses a very specific pad. You need a pad that has uh, these vertical baffles. If you look at my video right here, um, you'll see a video where we show you what happens if you don't use the right pad with this. So make sure you use the right pad, vertical baffles, um, Big Agnes makes one, X-Ped makes one. So anyway, um, got to have the right pad for this thing. And then for the um, 90 degree hammock, um, you can use any pad you want. The system doesn't require a pad for it to work. Um, you, in the 90 degree, the pad, you insert it in the front of the hammock. So how much do these hammocks cost? So you can see the difference there. Um, if that's significant to you, you know, you might want to go with the one that's less expensive. But yeah, there definitely is a, a, a difference in price. So when you see the Amic, you see like heavy duty straps, heavy duty carabiners, you know, suspension with different suspension locks versus the 90 degree hammock. When you look at the 90 degree hammock, you've got, you know, your ridge line is just a, a very thin piece of cord. Um, you got a thin bug net. This material here, just a lot thinner. This is an ultra light setup. And that's why the 90 degree only weighs Let's talk about bug nets. The bug net on the 90 degree hammock is not removable, which to me, like I get it because they're trying to save weight. This is a backpacking hammock, but it's kind of annoying. I, um, there's times you just want to hang out in your hammock and not be locked in it, especially if it's hot outside. Um, I wish this was retractable. I understand why it's not, but I really wish it was. In terms of the bug net, um, it's suspended by this carabiner, as you can see here over my head. And then to close it, it's just a super simple zipper. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? The Amic has a really great bug net. It stays stored right here in this compartment. All you gotta do is unsnap it, pull it out. And now I'm in. Perfect, right? Easy. So getting into either one of these um, hammocks is a little bit tricky. Neither one is perfect. With the hammock, um, you just fold this thing over, fold the foot box over a little bit, and then you kind of sit on it. Kick your shoes off, and then 
Mop. So getting out of the Amic can be kind of tricky. This zipper here in front of me is very rigid and very strong. And so when I get out of it, I have to kind of go on top of that. And it's, I got this root like, this is like guitar string tight here. Um, so you gotta kind of pop out of it. A little bit uncomfortable. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but not a deal breaker. The, getting in and out of the 90 degree hammock, it's still a little, a little weird. Um, takes a little bit getting used to. Um, you kind of just sit back into it like this and then pull your feet back like that. Getting out simple, you just undo the zipper, get it out of your way, and then stand up. So it's a lot easier to get out of the 90 degree than it is the Amic. Neither one of them are particularly hard to get out of, but if I had to pick one, it, it'd be the 90 degree. It's just easier, so. All right, so let's talk about weight restrictions. Um, does the 90 degree hammock and the amic, do they have any weight restrictions? Well, they do, and here they are. In terms of durability, when you look at the amic, when you feel it, when you lay in it, it's solid as a rock. Very thick straps, heavy duty hardware, thick material. The thing is solid and it feels solid. And that's why you have that weight restriction, right? That's why it weighs a whole lot more than the 90 degree. Um, with the 90 degree, in terms of durability, it has thinner fabric, the bug net is very thin. The reason is, is because this is an ultralight backpacking hammock. So it's very similar to an ultralight backpacking tent. You compare a backpacking tent to just like a, a typical tent that you'd take car camping and, and the, the difference is night and day in terms of weight, durability. Um, I haven't had either one of these long enough to tell you uh, whether or not there's durability issues. I can just tell you that they both appear to be very well made and uh, I think they're both solid, but the Amic is definitely like, it's beefier. Um, in terms of like storage space in the hammock, the 90 degree hammock has two small mesh pockets. I can easily put my iPhone, um, I have the 7 Plus that goes in there real nice. Sunglasses, keys, wallet, all that kind of good stuff, no problem. Um, the Amic has two pockets. They're a little bit bigger than the 90 degree, and it also has the water bottle holder. So the Amic definitely wins in terms of, of pockets. Um, but they both have them and they both do a good job in, in holding your stuff. So here we have two hammocks that are different than your gathered in hammocks. They run 90 degrees to the trees. They look a little funky and they are a little funky. But in terms of comfort, I think they're both exceptionally comfortable. Um, I don't want to compare them directly to a gathered in hammock because it's a completely different type of lay, but um, I say that these, both of these styles are very comfortable. If I had to pick between the two, I have spent nights in both of them. Um, I, the Amic just is a little bit more unstable to me and it has a little bit more of a feeling of like if I, if I don't move just right, I have a potential of falling out of it. Whereas the 90 degree is just with the, with the piano strings, it's very, very, very solid. Um, so, and I'll be honest with you, this 90 degree hammock is, is one of the most comfortable hammocks that I've ever laid in. Um, I slept like a baby the first night I slept in it and I was shocked. It just, it seemed like it just supported all the little nooks and crannies, um, supported my knees, didn't, didn't have any problems. So if I had to pick between the two in terms of comfort, um, I'm giving it to the 90 degree hammock. So, but your experience may vary. Um, try them both out and see which one works best for you. talk about the the pack size as you can see here in this picture you know one's a lot bigger than the other one's gonna take up a lot more space in your backpack so there's definitely a big difference in size um, 
But again, you just gotta ask yourself which one's a better hammock for you. At the end of the day, if you love, if you love something, man, you're gonna figure out a way to, to get it to fit into your backpack. So both of these hammocks have a height restriction. I, uh, I'm, I'm probably 5'11", but I like to tell everybody I'm six foot. Um, and for me, both of these hammocks, I am like right on the limit of how tall you can be to be comfortable in, in them. Um, here's what the manufacturers say their height limit is. You can see in the graphic, um, you know, that it, 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 they accommodate people that are six foot. Uh, and over but not much much more than that so if you're if you're much over six foot my recommendation is um, definitely try it out before you purchase it because uh, you might just not fit in it with all the reviews I do I leave it up to you the the viewer to decide what you want to do I'm not here to tell you to buy this over that my job is to just show you what the differences are so you can make an informed decision. Um, the Amic, so the cons are gonna be the weight, the kind of instability, and the fact that it's absolutely dependent on a pad. The pad fails, the hammock fails, okay? The pros are gonna be the durability is off the charts, the function off the charts with all the, uh, the pockets and the places to, to store your stuff. Um, and it's just a real solid, solid piece of gear and it's very comfortable to sleep in. So with the 90 degree hammock, the pros are gonna be, it packs down super small, it's very light, just, it's under a pound, come on, all right? Backpacking, perfect. The other pros with the 90 degree, the stability because of the, the what I call the piano strings on both sides, it makes it very stable, you can sit up in it, you can roll around in it, whatever you need to do, and you don't feel like you're gonna fall out of it. The cons, if you will, or the things that need improvement for the 90 degree hammock, um, definitely gonna be um, the bug net. I wish, it, I wish it was retractable. There is a, a workaround, um, but I wish it, you could just unzip it. Uh, the other con is gonna be like, it's a super ultra lightweight material. Um, it's an ultra lightweight hammock, and so you're gonna need to be gentle with it. You're gonna need to be careful with it because uh, it's gonna be more susceptible um, to injury if not. Um, so that's kind of my pros and cons of both. Which one you get is up to you, but uh, that's it. Anyway, we're done here. We hope you guys enjoyed our little head-to-head -head review of the Amic versus the 90 degree. We're gonna pack it all up and we're going fly fishing. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. If you guys haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button. Tell all your friends, tell all your family, and because uh, we really do appreciate it. So we will see you next time. Bye.